Okay, a couple things you could do here, but probably the best way to organize your thoughts is to think, how do I get, you know, something squared to equal absolute value of something? Basically, like, you know, how does x squared equal x? And let's you know, go ahead and say this absolute value of x, but really same idea. I mean, the, the, what I'm thinking is I, I need to either aim for these to ultimately equal zero, or for them to equal positive one, or for them to equal like negative one, because then that's how that squared equals absolute, you know, negative one squared equals absolute value negative one. That's how you, you, you organize your thoughts. It's like is these terms on each side need to ultimately get to zero, one, or negative one. So they get to zero by making x equal to negative two. So if we double check that, that'll work. I mean, you also want to double check these. Um, we can get these terms to positive 1 by making x equal to negative 1. So then that checks out. Negative 1 plus 2 is 1 squared equals absolute value 1. That's cool. And we can get these terms to negative 1 by making x negative 3. So, so then negative 1 squared equals absolute value negative 1. Yeah, that checks out. So these are the three solutions. So their product is negative 6. You always think, you know, how does q squared equal q or absolute value q in this case? you got to aim for these to both be 0, negative 1, or positive 1. Um, or some, some combination depending on how they take out, you know, if it's absolute values, then we need to these to equal 0 or just positive 1, you know. But you can just, you know, brainstorm different combinations depending on the exact setup.